The Tennessee Valley Art Association and the Tennessee Valley Museum of Art presents the 2021 Spring Exhibition, Southern Black Artists, featuring Corey Patton, painter, Jason McCall, poet, Kerrigan Casey, painter, Linthea Edwards, painter. And mixed media artists, Charlie Lucas, Michi Miko. Each body of work explores their unique experiences of cultural identity and their deeply personal reflections on sense of place as Black artists in America. On view at the Tennessee Valley Museum of Art until April 2nd. Artist Spotlight Michi Miko. Michi Miko, a Florence native, is an Atlanta-based artist who has earned national recognition. He has exhibited at museums across the country and was featured as an artist in residence on the streaming service Hulu in 2019. Following a near drowning in 2015, Miko's work began to focus on the African-American experience of navigating public spaces while remaining buoyant within them. His work explores how the barrage of images on social media of African Americans being threatened in public spaces simulates an experience of drowning. His exhibition is titled, When It's Black Outside, Notes from the Before Times. So far as like my early education and then like my, my college background, um, I would, uh, and how I arrived at my style, I would, um, I often think about Ms. Chen at the university because she pushed me to use more expressive marks and that's what my work is, its foundation is, is um, mark making and abstractions. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at with, with my artistic style. I really am trying to, um, make contributions to history and, and to the narrative of black expressions and to the narratives um, in, in art history around black abstractions. And, and more than anything, it, it, it's like some elaborate form of graffiti of, of me just writing my name on the wall, saying like, you know, writing like Taki or Cornbread or Kilroy was here or like the caveman just sort of blowing mud on his hand and we still see evidence of that that human hand so it, it can be complicated I, I guess if you think about it but I don't know I'm just a guy going through life and just trying to do the best that I can with with, with what I have well as as um as an artist I, I guess I see myself as an abstractionist as one who is very interested again in the idea of expressive marks one who is interested in the idea of material who's interested in the idea or the functions of black mechanics and the shortcomings of that and using what i have to sort of create these things so that's why a lot of the objects are these common objects that i i'm looking to endow with some sort of uh, narrative or superpower or to see if i can change 
the narrative around an object or see if I can redefine materials or to see if I can even in my in my head in my studio I say abuse materials or push them to their elastic limit until they break or succumb to my will and and so I want to change the narratives on objects and place them out of context in context and that's sort of how I how I see myself as an artist the inspiration for my art well I mean I'm inspired by a lot of different things um inspiration can for me can come from anywhere um Venus and Serena Williams are two points of entry for my inspiration um also nature the great outdoors also um black life and i i think the the um, the odd parts of black life are a big um inspiration for me um also thinking about the the patina of 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 black life and black mechanics is 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 a big thing and the material materiality of of black life is 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 part of my inspiration also music has um, a big influence or it can be inspiring i mean even just the way the breeze blows on a leaf in a tree or watching a tree you know like sway in the wind or or hearing the river or who knows like what and in, where inspiration comes from but i mean it there are several different entry points for inspiration you know mothers fathers my brother is a big in, influence on me a big part of my inspiration and um there's there's a whole host of things like my mom and my dad so so there's there's that the thing about inspiration is, is that it can be found in in the most simplest things and the most complex things and the most common things so that's kind of uh where i am on that well on the topic of, of like black male experience it's um it's it's one that that comes with a lot of layers it, it 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 much like my work there are a lot of layers there are a lot of narratives that are intertwining and and tangling together and i'm looking for historical fact and also some sort of narrative where i can think about a future not focused on a trauma but of of my own existence so i'm in in my work i'm looking to deal with an issue but also become the hero in this abstraction or in this map making or in this typography that is like my life like um so in a way i think that i'm mapping out my black male experience and and for me, like that's kind of finding my way um, from like a youth now into a, a, an adult and then into an older man. And even further than that, how will this black life contribute to future black lives from the afterlife? So that's something that i'm also very interested in um but so far as the experience it it i would say my my like my experience is is that <laughs> is one that black males experience the the thing i think that is 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 interesting about this life are the psychological parts of black existence and so there again that's why the the works titles sort of work the way they work why the narratives in the work exist the way they exist and how i talk about these things because i'm not only looking outward inward upward 
I'm also thinking about this life in in a psychological sort of way, um, a psychological experience of, of being black. And in all of that, I'm trying to map out a hero's journey. I'm trying to create an abstraction, a contradiction, and this sort of idea around typography and all of these things um, to to sort of find my way. But black life in the South is, is typical black life in the South. I mean, I'm, I have, I've, I have a lot of different experiences, some good, some bad. And I, you know, and I won't say that like, oh, everything has been bad because it hasn't that like, that would be a lie. But I also have experienced, you know, the the good and the bad. So the, it's the psychological parts of the South, the environment that become sort of the burden or is the burden for me. It is due to environment, location, space. Um, and so I think that that's why it's important that I continue to think about these abstractions and continue to think about, loosely think about topography and loosely think about cartography and put my own spin on it or or as we say do a remix or as i would say add the patina to this idea of what a map could be or what defining space could be through these abstractions so